When Peyton and Austin first met, I wouldn't really say it was love at first sight. It was the first semester of junior year of high school in AP government and politics where these two lovebirds laid eyes on each other for the first time. Their first impressions of each other go like this. Pei was the annoying girl in class that would never shut up, and Austin was the weird ginger kid who was mute. In all seriousness, I couldn't ask for a better son-in-law. Welcome to the family and she's all yours. I honestly don't know what we would do without Austin and the family, and I'm so excited to be gaining a brother. Oh, God. <laughs> and someone who I know will always put me first. Okay. I'm done roasting. It gets sad now. Just. <laughs> At 16, I had no idea the cute, quiet boy with eyes like the ocean in our government and politics class would turn out to be my best friend, my better half, and my whole world. Peyton, you truly are my favorite person. The love I feel for you is strong and true. I honestly don't know how I can put it into words, but what I do know is that from the moment we've met, I felt an everlasting connection that cannot be broken. All I want is sleep. Awesome, I get lost in your eyes. When you look at me, I still get butterflies to this day. The way that you smile after I tell another long-winded story or joke makes me laugh even harder and smile even brighter. How did I get so lucky to be loved by someone like you? I don't know if I'll ever truly understand, but I will but I will forever be grateful to feel this love. Peyton, I vow to always support you, to always be there for you, and all the ups and downs that we will face in this journey. I promise to put this marriage and our eventual family first. I vow to keep laughter and happiness a staple in our relationship, to lift you up when times are hard, to always be patient and understanding, even when you want to watch the Harry Potter series for the hundredth time. <laughs> and most importantly, to love you to the fullest every day of our lives. While our love story doesn't mirror a fairy tale like Cinderella and Prince Charming, it does mirror a relationship like Ron and Hermione from one of our favorite series, <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> And no, not just because Ron has red hair, even though that, that helps. <laughs> Ron and Hermione were two people who started out as strangers. They became friends, transformed into best friends, and finally evolved into two people who couldn't live without each other. You're my Ron. Austin, I am truly, madly, and deeply in love with you. And I feel so honored to receive this love, and I feel so undeserving of something that's this good. All that I ask from you is that you outlive me so that I never have to live another day without you. Peyton and Austin would like Jess Peck to share a reading that was found in a dresser of Grandpa Kay's while helping move him back to Fond du Lac. Peyton always looked up to her grandparents' marriage of 55 years. Finding this reading in the dresser ultimately solidified the type of marriage she envisions for her and Austin. Love is friendship that has caught fire. It is quiet, understanding, mutual confidence, sharing, and forgiving. It is loyalty through good and bad times. It settles for less imperfection and makes allowances for human weaknesses. Love is content with the present. It hopes for the future, but doesn't brood over the past. If you have love in your life, it can make up for a great many things you lack. If you don't have it, no matter what else there is, it is not enough. By the authority vested in I, Father Christian, I now pronounce you husband and wife, Austin, you may kiss the bride.
Austin, you have loved pay at her worst, at her best, and have always stood by her side. I couldn't ask for a better person to give over my best friend for life to. Okay, okay everyone grab their glass. Grab a glass, we'll make a toast. So this has been almost seven years in the making, and this wedding has been two and a half years in the making, so I think we can all agree it's about damn time. I love you. I love you both so much, and I can't wait to see where this crazy life takes you. Cheers to the meal mix. Peyton, I hope this isn't awkward since the last time you saw me in a tux was when we went to prom junior year. <laughs> you and Austin make each other so happy, and I'm glad that I got to see that so clearly while living with you and Austin as a family. 